In this video, we're looking at compound interest. So an investment is money that's put into a bank or used to pay for some sort of asset that will appreciate an increase in value. So compound interest it builds over time. It continues to build. If it's monthly, each month you generate a new amount which gets added to your investment and then the next month they're using that new increased amount to calculate how much money you make in the following month. So there is a formula for this, A equals P bracket 1 plus R to the power of N. A is your future value, the value after so, many, so much time. P is your present value, or what we call as the principal. R is your interest rate per period, so that's, that's important. So if you're compounding monthly, your interest rate has to be also monthly. Uh, and N is your number of periods, so again... If you're compounding monthly, you want N to be in months, not in years. So the first question we're looking at is, Lauren bought a diamond ring for 3000 How much was it worth three years later if it appreciated by 5.8%? So I'm going to list the formula first. One plus R. And now I'm going to write down what I know. So I know the present value of the ring is 3000 Now I know my interest rate is 5.8%. Now with this formula, we want that as a decimal. So we actually just divide that by 100, 0 0.058. And we're waiting three years. So three is my time there. So the future value is going to be 3,000, uh, 1 plus 0 0.058 to the power of 3. Now that comes out at $3,552.86. So Lauren, the ring Lauren bought is now worth $3,552.86. Sometimes the questions will ask you how much it increased by, um, in that case, you need to say that it was worth, it increased by $552.86. So read these type of questions carefully. Sometimes they'll ask for what the future value is, and sometimes they'll ask well, how much it increased by. So here's another one. Jacob put $350 in the bank where it earns interest of 8% per annum. So PA is per annum or per year. Find the amount there will be in the account after two years if the interest is paid monthly. So again, we'll write down our formula. I know my present value is $350. My R is 8% per annum, but it's important that it's paid monthly. So what we need to do is, it's going to be my 0 0.08 over 12. Right now, it's over 12 because it's monthly and there's 12 months in a year. And then my N again paid monthly, so we need to make sure we're going to times 12, and in this case, that's 24. So, 24 months it will be so, or 24 times it will be compounded. So, A equals 350 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12 to the power of 24. Now I'm just going to fix that bracket up because I, I want to match the other one. Now, if you put that in the calculator, you end up with $410.51. So after two years of compounding monthly, he ends up with $410.51. All right, last one. Asha needs $6,352.55 to buy her first car. How many years would she need to wait if she invested 5000 at 6% per annum, so per year, paid monthly? So I'm going to start the exact same way that we have for all the other questions. I'm going to write down my formula. I'm going to list what we know. So this time I know A is 6352 and 45 cents. I know my R value is 0 0.6 paid monthly, so 0 0.06 over 12. And I know my principal or my starting value 
is 5,000. So now I'm going to substitute those into the formula. 6352.45 equals 5,000. 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12 to the power of n. We don't know n at this point. Now I'm going to tidy some things up just to make it neat. So this is going to stay the same. The 5,000 is going to stay the same. But this bracket is going to change to 1.005 to the power of n. Okay. Now we're going to do some of our... Uh, opposite operations, inverse operations. So I want to divide by 5,000 here, because I want this over here. Because remember, the goal is to get that n equals something. That's our goal. All right, so now that I've got that, I'm going to keep it as this over here, because that's going to be a messy number, and I'd rather just keep it like this. Equals 1.005 to the power of n. Now this is where we use our logs again. So what I'm adding to each side is that natural log, 6352.45 equals ln 1.005 to the power of n. So remember with our log laws that n can come out the front here. So what I get over here is ln 6352.45 over 5000 equals n ln 1.005 and we can divide by this and over here as well to finally get n equals ln 6352.45 over 5000 all over 1.005 if you put that in a calculator you'll come out with 48 now you might think 48 years that seems like a long time that's because that's in months if you remember so now what we need to do is divide that by 12 and we end up with 4 years so to recap the video, our main formula is on your screen now, where A is your future value, P is your present value, R is your interest rate per period. Remember, you need to make sure it's the same as your N, which is the number of periods. If you're dealing with months, both have to be in months. If you're dealing with years, both have, both have to be in years.